So what's new in the turnaround strategy? Uh, the problem we hear, uh, we don't manage our turnarounds and shutdowns well, we start up late and don't get all the work done as scheduled. Uh, so th some important points here, how to manage your turnarounds. You know, you need to divide a turnaround in different phases. In this case, we divide it up in six phases, starting with the strategy phase here. Our goal is to drive unscheduled downtime to zero uh, and to increase our overall production efficiency so we have an opportunity to increase output as needed. Um, common mistakes, uh, there is no strategy in place to set standards for the turnarounds. Uh, organization does not have the same objectives uh, because there's no direction or strategy in place. Uh, operations, maintenance, and engineering are not working together. Uh, don't coordinate schedules and resources. Uh, there's no turnaround process and countdown schedule in place, which is the major tool to actually give direction to the organization. How to, how to prepare for the turnaround. Uh, other mistakes, not identifying business requirements and drivers, uh, like, and what are they? Uh, your market and seasonal demands on the products. Uh, we don't want to interrupt your, um, you know, high season demand and miss out on customers' deliveries. Uh, Equipment deterioration and maintenance demands. Do we actually, or are we on top of our major maintenance items that needs to be done during the shutdown, like boiler inspections and etc.? cetera? Um, do we cover all the process operational demands or any kind of uh, things that needs to be uh, replaced or upgraded in the process? Uh, is there any regulatory requirements? Um, Maybe there are some capital product opportunities. Uh, and other uh, mistakes that we see is that you don't have a three to five year schedule to try to anticipate a long-term shutdown or turnaround uh, strategy. And of course, we should determine the schedule and the approximate downtime needed for the current uh, turnaround based on these business requirements. Uh, and other mistakes that we see, not identifying the turnaround organization and responsibilities. Uh, we need to have a turnaround manager coordinating if it's a big organization between the different departments and that we follow in the process. Uh, how we set up a steering committee to set up the objectives, you know, set policies, monitor progress and KPIs, and monitor and control the budgets. Um, and also another important part for policies is how are we going to manage contractors? Um, usually that's a lot of contractors involved in, in a large turnaround and that causes a lot of different issues in terms of where they go, how do they eat, uh, you know, how do we prove them, how do we do quality uh, control of what they're doing. Uh, other mistakes is, of course, this is the big one for me, develop a countdown schedule because that's going to give uh, the whole organization uh, uh, direction on what to prepare and when. And you can also hold people accountable. Uh, should have a detailed schedule down to the shutdown with activities, deadlines, responsibilities, on how to prepare for the turnaround. Thank you.